Hi everyone, Bill Coyle here again with more travel agent tips. Today's travel agent tips is talking all about niche travel. You know, the idea of us uh, as new agents and we're thinking, oh my gosh, we have to know so many things. We have to know cruising, all inclusive, um, Europe, Hawaii, South Africa, and it just becomes so overwhelming. But the fact is that you're really thinking about, oh my gosh, what am I gonna specialize in? Do I have to know everything? And how do I define exactly who I am and what I'm about, especially when I'm starting in the industry as a new travel agent? So let's define a niche. What is a niche? Is a niche selling ocean cruising? And is that the Caribbean and Mexico? Is that ocean cruising in the Mediterranean? Does it include Alaska, Canada, New England, South America? Or is a niche for you maybe all-inclusive resorts and you just wanna focus in on a few? Maybe you're a sandals expert and you only wanna do honeymoon or romance travel. Is that a niche that you're gonna focus in on? Your niche should be your bread and butter. That means that's gonna be that consistent business that's coming in. For a long time, my niche was all-inclusive resorts. I focused in on a few, I knew exactly where they were, what the benefits were between them and others, and I stuck to the Caribbean and Mexico. When I wanted to break outside that, I did, but that we'll get into a little bit later. It has to be something that you're passionate about and that you understand and have knowledge about. Have you been there? Do you know it very well? Maybe let's just say it's um, South African safaris. Maybe you've been on one, you have got to know all the workers there, you know the supplier, you're going to be able to sustain that business because you know everything about it. Could that be your niche? Could that be something that you market? Do you have the clientele for that? Let me talk about some of the niches that I've that we've talked about lately. Um, we had an agent that was in not too long ago that wants to do geeky getaways. So that's the idea of saying, you know what, I only want to do Harry Potter tours. Is that something that you think that is uh, potentially uh, profitable for you and something that can move you forward uh, in the industry? Is that something that's going to last long term? Is that going to be a short term objective that you have that maybe you're going to have to change your niche down the road? And then there's other, there's other topics to talk about. Is it family travel that includes ocean cruising and all-inclusive and potentially Europe? Is it LGTBQ that you're gonna just attract that community so that you can work with those people and you're gonna make sure that you're doing the right thing by them, making sure they feel safe when they travel, putting them into the right markets, financially understanding their needs. There's a lot of different things that you can consider. I love the idea of religious travel. Is that something you can do? Now, religious travel could include cruises because we see a lot of Christian bands um, who are going on cruises that maybe you want to sell into. We see a lot of Israel, uh, Holy Land trips. There's a lot of Rome trips. So there's a lot of things that you have to think about there. So there are certain products that you can become niche in. There's destinations that you can become niche in. And there's specific overall generalized, the idea that says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus in on this, but I'm gonna need to know all of this stuff. So really, it's that idea, you have to stop, take a, take, a, take a deep breath, think about what it is you wanna do in this industry, and decide if specializing is right for you. It's really, really something that you possibly can focus in on, but let's just say you're a home-based agent and you're gonna specialize in something, how are you gonna handle your marketing? Are you now going to try to remarket clients? That means you're gonna take those clients that you have and say, no, I am specializing this. Or are you gonna start your agency and say, you know what, here's exactly what I do. I hope you come to me because I know what I'm talking about. So let's just remember one thing. Uh, being a niche specialist could be about a destination, it could be about a product, and it could just be about all your clientele in general. Who is your clientele? Define them and becoming a niche with them and a specialist in what they're looking to do. So when trying to determine your niche, ask yourself some questions. Number one, what travel experiences have you been on and what are most impactful to you? Number two, what are you most interested in selling? This has to become something that you're thinking about. Number three, do your current clients align with your niche? If not, you've got some work to do, right? You're gonna be marketing to them or you're gonna to try to convert your current clients to do what you wanna do in your niche. And number four, is it narrow enough to be a niche? The power of a niche is figuring out how to incorporate your expertise. One of the greatest things that I did in my career was becoming a Hawaii specialist. I didn't just come back and take a test on my computer on each island and tell people I was a specialist. I went there and experienced each island. I took my test 
on the island that I was that I was doing my test on, that I was doing my specializing in. So just think about that, right? Six islands, I went to all of them, I did that test, and once I got back from that and I understood it, don't forget, it took me about six or seven years, I was able to say that I was a specialist on the Hawaiian Islands. My business grew by 60% just because I let people know that I was a specialist, whether it was in marketing or face-to-face, -face, they were very excited. The referrals just started to flow in. So that was a nice niche for me. It's, I still kept my bread and butter business by keeping Mexico and the Caribbean, but I flowed into the Hawaiian market and really appreciated everything that I know about it. So let's just do a quick recap on niche marketing. Do you care enough about that destination? Do you care enough about having that destination or that product as your niche? Are you knowledgeable about it enough? I'll, I'll never forget the time I tried to sell the Galapagos. I didn't know enough about it. And that client knew, that potential client knew that I didn't understand it. So they went elsewhere to find their trip. So make sure you completely understand it, you're knowledgeable about it, and you're passionate about it. And then the key factor is, can you make money on it? And is it focused enough for you? Is it something that's easy for you to ascertain and convince people that you know enough about it to get them to go? The key factor, the right clientele, I really think that that's important. Is it the clientele that you have in your database or the fact that you're out looking for that clientele? Because now that's gonna add on all kinds of marketing resources that you're gonna need. And if you know it, they're gonna understand you know it. If you don't know it, they're gonna know that as well. So make sure that you understand your clientele. And then it takes time, people. You have to have a three to five year plan. And roll that out and look, look to see how that looks. Do a business plan with that niche. See what the potential is in your market for how many people that you can get to that destination or on that product and really give it enough time so that you understand where it's gonna take you. If you've enjoyed this video and you love listening to me about all the different topics that we talk about, please make a comment below. And if you want more information about becoming a travel agent, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to like us. I really appreciate your time. I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks so much and have a great day.